to dig, we fact a bad. Here comes MCI with another math track. You knew that math was real when you used it to attack. Those factoring problems on that worksheet in your backpack. When math gives you an L, then you need a bounce back. Kennedy Cougars, yeah, we known to bounce back. We can factor multiply and then factor right back. If you a real mathematician, you can always factor back. GCF, the GCF is one of the methods I love the best. I'm on a quest to help my students pass the test, to pass the test. So listen closely to my steps and let's progress. Let's get it. Let's start with the G for the greatest. The C is for common related. The F is for factor, don't hate it. This method will make you elated. Take the greatest number that divides to all the other numbers evenly. Move this back down in front of the parentheses, please just believe in me. This method just feels so righteous. Bend on GCF is a right risk. Even in a factor crisis, mathematics is so priceless. Like when you have multiple variables with exponents. Always take the power that's the lowest. And now you know this. Last week we multiplied, but today we factor bad. Here comes MCI with another math track. You knew that math was real when you used it to attack. Those factoring problems on that worksheet in your backpack. When math gives you an L, then you need a bounce back. Kennedy Cougars, yeah, we known to bounce back. We can factor multiply and then factor right back. If you a real mathematician, you can always factor back. Look, I woke up in math mode. It's back to some trinomials and make them products of binomials. Man, I love these polynomials. Look. Let's start with a method song called Diamond, I call it the X Factor. The product of two binomials is exactly what you're after. Multiply the A times C and put the B on bottom. Find two numbers, product and sum, and that's just how you solve them. Take two parentheses, put the numbers to the right of these. In the other blank spaces that you see, put the variables from the problem, please. Please check your problem thoroughly. For your method preferably, distributed properties are right with me. Area method visually. Let's move on to factoring when A is greater than one. This is when your factoring problems really, really get fun. Multiply the A times C, again put B on bottom. Fill your box up just like so, now you got an easy problem. Find the binomials on each side, use some guess and check. Try it once, try it twice, do it until you get it correct. Now that you got the solution, go and pat yourself on the back. This is how we coolers do it, never give up, just bounce back. This week we multiplied, but today we factored back. Here comes MCI on another math track. You knew that math was real when you used it to attack. Those factor ring problems on that worksheet in your backpack. Moves. I got the moves. I got those moves. I got the moves. I got those math moves. I got those factor moves. I got those math moves. I got those factor moves. We got the moves. We got the moves. We got the moves. Kids, let's try like a no meal. Gotta stay hungry, parrot. Holly, no meal. <laughs> and that's a bad math joke, but if you had my class, you'd get a daily dose. But um, I'm here to talk about those perfect squares. I'm talking about the method that produces perfect pairs. I'm talking about the perfect square try. No me L's, and if you know me well, the math is what I sell. A squared plus 2AB plus B squared, don't be scared, square root term 1 and term 3. Then you gotta check the middle for the 2AB. And if all goes well, then you must take the quantity of the A plus B to the power of 2. And if there's a minus in the middle, then you know what to do. Let's keep it moving to the difference of squares. A squared minus B squared producing near perfect pairs. The only difference is in the plus and minus method. So simple, got my one year old to try this. Square root the first and second term. Write your opposite factors you can foil to confirm. The final factor move is what we call grouping. Only with four terms, yes, you gotta split and move things. That's right, you split the problem down the middle. Take the GCF of each pair, solve the factor riddle. Now that I've given you these factor moves, you won't take no L's at math, you'll never lose.